Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. I've got here a grinder from Harbor Freight. It's a drill master. And uh, what happened with this is uh, I was grinding some wheels down for my nephew's truck and this thing couldn't take it and it burned up pretty good. So I'm going to take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside. What happened was uh, it's got these aluminum wheels. We needed to grind some aluminum also to fit on this truck. And we bought this size thickness of a wheel. And I think this was too thick for the amount of grinding we were doing. It wasn't grinding very well. It was a gator blade. So we went up into buying the very, very thin, thin one. That worked better and lasted longer than what this blade did. So anyways, man, it smells really burnt. Took the guard off, uh, so I'm going to dismantle this, this drill here because I'm curious what it looks like inside because it was smoking so bad. It stinks really, really bad right now. So I'm going to dismantle and see what the insides look like. Uh, I've never burned up a, a grinder before. But, you know, you get what you paid for. This wasn't even mine, this was my next door neighbor, she let me borrow it. And I had to go out and buy them a new one. And when I went to Harbor Freight to buy a new one, they were on sale for $9.99 because they're normally $14.99. So we're going to take this apart. See what it looks like on the inside because this, the switch on and off switch doesn't it won't even slide back and forth anymore. I think it melted and broke off. I had to get me, I got the Harbor Freight uh, add in yesterday and they got this little battery powered drill. This little small one that unscrews stuff a lot faster. I'm going to get me one of those. Uh, turning a screwdriver is pretty slow and boring. So before this thing melted down, we had been grinding on the wheel for about say an hour straight without turning the, the drip this uh, grinder off and that's probably why it uh, burned up oops something fell off uh, whoo smells really bad inside here's the uh, spinning part I tried to plug this in before I started taking it apart and it doesn't work. This thing spins fairly easy. But it stinks really, really, really bad. Wonder if the brushes got burned up inside. Freaking flashlight. A solar power flashlight here. See what's inside here. I'm gonna take out two more screws. I don't know if the camera's picking up what it looks like inside there. Let's take these screws out here in the middle. Screw here and here, still got to take out. So let's take that out. It's the first time I've ever taken a grinder apart. So I'm curious what it looks like on the inside. I've taken drills apart. But this will be first grinder. Long screw. Man, it stinks so bad in there. It started smoking so bad and we just kept grinding it with the smoke and I told my my nephew, just keep doing it till it catches on fire. And he kept grinding and grinding and the motor finally bogged down. And before it bogged down, it was shooting sparks with dark, 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 dark gray smoke. It started shooting sparks and then finally the motor just quit. You 
can see right here, it's all black. That's where the switch is at. It's burnt right in here. Looks like some sort of paper in there or something. It's all burnt all down the side here. It's all black and burnt. Crispy, crusty. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. See down inside there. And uh, like I said, I've never taken one of these apart, so. Oh, it's crunchy. These wires are totally fried. Let me spread these wires out and then show you. See the wires all crispy, crunchy, and totally, totally black. I don't know how to get this thing out of here. The other side is crunchy, crispy, black. Also. Here's where the uh, switch is. The switch is uh, right here. You can see where it's melted. That's the switch here. That's why it's not sliding. It is totally melted inside. Oh, there's a screw here in the bottom. Take that one out and see what happens. See if, see, if, see if she'll slide out here. The smell is so bad though right now. I don't recommend doing this inside your home like I'm doing it because it stinks so bad. There we go. Slide this part off. There's black stuff falling under my table. the inside of that how that comes out for anybody out there who's never taken a grinder apart especially a harbor freight grinder this is what it looks like let's take that plug off here take it all the way down it's my work work table slash computer table slash eat my dinner table eat it at dinner time I eat here. I do everything on this table. I just two more plugs well screws here to hold the wire on. The plug might still be recyclable. People like to recycle things. Even though this grinder's fried. And man it stinks big time. That's one thing we need on videos is this video is smell. Even though I don't know if anybody wanna smell this stuff. Let's hope it doesn't linger around here. Have to get some Febreze. There we go, we have the plug undone now. Which, uh, plug can be recycled. this off. I've used plugs from other tools before to make extension cords. What you do to make an extension cord, you just go buy the, uh, any hardware store and you go buy the, like, uh, this is the male section here. You go buy the female section and attach it to this side and then you have an extension cord. That's a good four foot extension cord there. You know, go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get the female part. It's only like a buck something. Make an extension cord and recycle that plug there. I'm getting this stuff all over the floor. All right, let's see what else we can detach here. I'm trying to see what the bushings look like. There's a screw here. Let's take it off. I have no idea what it does. 
once again like I said this is the first dismantling of a grinder I've ever done and usually I buy electronics and yard tools and then I just take them apart I guess these are the brushes or something I think I'm not sure I'm not an electronic guy although I do take a lot of electronics apart I just take them apart just to see what they look like These are brushes right here. Let's see if I can take that little brush out. I don't want to come out, but see if I can show you the inside. Right here where my finger is, it's a, one of the brushes. They don't look they don't look fried at all. Although they're very very small small, I think maybe they're worn down. Can't really get a good camera angle in there. I don't know what I'm seeing on the camera because I can't see right now. There's a wire connection connects right here to where the plug is. This is a power thing. Let me see if this will slide off. That comes off. This is a very crispy, crunchy wire. It's gotten very, very hot. power cord let's take up the second one off the wiring definitely got fried in this grinder another power cord here unplug that one and they're all crispy crunchy two there, here's one more here, connect it right here, so you got two two wires here to go up into the thing, and then these go to where the plug plugs into, the plug plugs in there, and then these, these two go one here and one on that side, and uh, that's pretty much it on the inside of this thing, it's pretty crunchy, pretty burnt, Okay, I cleaned up my mess here. So about the only thing is uh, left to do is I took the screws off here, this grinder, Harbor Free Grinder, and then this is what the inside looks like. And this is aluminum. I guess you'd take that pin off right inside there, and then this gear would come off and slide this out, and then you could take this aluminum. For people who would like to recycle, and then these nuts here to hold the the wheel on. These are also aluminum. They're quite heavy. If you take a, a, a much electronics apart as I do, especially like old tower computers that have aluminum blocks inside the uh, hard drives. And you collected all this aluminum, just throw in a big bucket or something. Then you can take it and recycle and get some cash. Uh, that's what I do. I throw this stuff in the bucket because my next door neighbor he likes collects aluminum, so I just give him all the aluminum stuff that I get at electronics. It's uh, he likes to recycle. And that's the inside of that. This is also aluminum too. Take that apart. This thing spins extremely easy. It stinks really, really bad. And there's a little bearing here. You can recycle that. Pressed on. Really, 
really really easy spinning here so I'll just throw this stuff in a bucket and give this to my neighbor or if you buy a lot of Harbor Freight stuff you can always hang on to the stuff as spare parts and use it for your grinder if it breaks down and then this thing unscrews with the handle which you could uh, recycle this handle and use it for other things plastic so there you have it that's the uh, Harbor Freight Drill Master grinder tear down dismantling whatever you want to call it, it stinks uh, really bad in there like burnt wires but you know that's what you get for fourteen ninety nine grinder they're only good for grinding like small bolts or stuff like that but the amount of grinding and pressure I was putting on this to grind the aluminum wheel uh, I don't think it's designed for throwaway grinders here's my Harbor Freight uh, what do you call this catalog that came in the mail yesterday and this is what I was talking about I want to get right here this 4.8 volt cordless screwdriver kit it's only $9.99 this is going to come in handy because I take a lot of stuff apart and it would make it a lot quicker comes with the battery and charger so that's not a bad price for $9.99 don't know how long it will last my next door neighbor had one and I always use his and because he's a handicapped guy and uh, can't hold on to stuff very much so he always asks me to take stuff apart for him so I'm always using his so now I know it's on sale I'm gonna go get me one of those maybe this weekend but there you go that's my Harbor Freight Drill Master Grinder Dismantling video peace out I'm gone